me show you how this works. I'm going to go to the first one here and just give you a sense of how this thing works. I'm going to open this up so you can see it. So the first scene here, I'll scroll down so you can see it. We, we build it basically from the bottom up. And that's because you are layering things on top of a background. But you don't have to stick with the background. Now there are transitions here that will change to another background, change to another solid layer, which is actually a pretty cool idea. If you want to go from one scene here with this color background, then you can transition and actually have the transition built into a background such that it reveals another solid layer that you put stuff on top of. So it's a pretty clever little idea. But here, there aren't any transitions. It's just the same color background. Again, that you can change anytime you want. If you just click on this and go to Layer, Solid Settings, you can change that to any color you want. I'll make it really obvious and change it like that. It might take a while for it to show up because this is such a big comp. There you go. Oh, that's too bad. That's really bad. I'll do Control Command Z to get rid of that horrible color. Sorry about that. Okay. And then if you look here at this first layer, there's text. There's this globe. Once it settles down again, come on. You can do it. There you go. There's a globe, and it spins. It animates. And there are two clouds. So if you look down here in this area, there are four layers, which you'd expect. Text plus three layers, three, uh, three icons. And it says Image Websites 211. I'll change from layer name to source name. And I'll expand this so you can see the whole name. So it says Image and Websites number 211, and it's twice. And number 211 would be the cloud. Let's just go back to the PDF for a second. I'll show you that. And two, notice they're all they're numbered from starting at zero. So we'll go to 211. And 211 is the cloud. Okay. So you would note this as you prepared your script. So there's 211, and 211 we use twice, and notice it faces one way and faces the other. It's simple to reverse an icon for, uh, for that effect. And they're different sizes. Of course, you can change the size by just scaling them as well. They don't have to be the size that we provide them to you with. Then on top of that, there's a globe. And so the way this works is it's a layer on top. If I just sold that for a second, you can barely see it. Let me turn, on, turn off the transparency. There's that one cloud. And then you add the globe behind it or under it and add the other cloud under it. And notice that the edge there around the globe is transparent, or somewhat transparent, allowing the uh, cloud to show through. So that's, those all work together simply by layering those three icons together, positioning them on the screen, adjusting their scale, and then if you go to them individually by double-clicking on it, you can control when they animate in and animate out. Let me turn off the uh, transparency so you can see that. So you can control how they animate in and how they animate out in terms of timing. Each individually, and also they have built-in sound effect. A little boop there for that particular guy. And the sound effect is here under avatar number 19. If you see that, you go to... I need to find those guys. Hang on a second. Oh, where are they? Well, I can't find the audio right now because it's so many things to look at here. I'm losing track of all this stuff, but they're all the... There you go. I'm going to hear the audio. There it is. All those sound effects are built into comps and there are that many different sound effects. Each, each one of these guys has its own sound effect built in and there are, the sound effects are used kind of over and over again but if you look at the sound effects individually then you see how many sound effects we provide for you and you can pick out whatever sound effect you want to use if you don't particularly like the one that's associated with that particular icon feel free to swap it out for something else. Alright so that's that one icon and back here you have the text layer, and notice the text layer is a different color, so it helps you identify it, that text is orange and the icons are this kind of brown color and how, how you've tracked these things down. And I'll turn off the solos here so you can see everything again. And to change the text, you just double click on the text here like so, and you can change the text. There are three layers of text. It's today, the internet is one of the most important forms of media. And that's just how this was set up. So text one, if you go find text one as an original thing, we'll go to the uh, text animations there and you see that this text one if I, is, is, uses a number of different ways to animate them on All right. if you can there are multiple if I click on this you see the other ways to animate them as well so you got this that particular motion there for those three layers as well so different ways to animate text on All right. let's go back to this so that particular unit of stuff there is your first scene. Then your second scene is here. These guys fade away because of how they're animated. 
even though they go this far out. In fact, you made the animation so that they would, they would, they would end at this particular point when, when, you, when you time this out. Then the next set comes on here. And the next set is, again, some text, this text here. Hang on a second while we do the autosave here. And then it's this little screen, and then these little avatars inside the screen. So it's not, there's not a screen that has those three things in it. You get the screen, you can add the avatars inside the screen. So you're not sort of stuck with one type of screen with one thing in it. The screen is a blank slate in which you can put stuff. You can put videos inside there as well, as long as you just layer it in such that it fits in the screen. So those are those four things. If I just, let's say, sold the first one, there we go. That's that person there, other person there, and then this is the globe, and then this is the screen underneath it. So those three things on top of the screen, and then there's finally the text. And that's the basic process to create each scene. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the Lead Instructor here at BlueEffects.net. If you want to watch this entire video lesson, as well as other live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the Blue Effects After Effects Academy. Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.